يوم العيد العيد دي is يوم الفرح والسرور is a day of pleasure, happiness and joy this day is the day of shukr, yawm shukr when all muslim, all believers they gather together men and women to offer their gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his ability and tawfiq to perform ibadah in the holy month of Ramadan it is a yawm shukr also this day is yawm al-fadl yawm al-jaiza it is the day of receiving attaining reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we gather here to attain our reward <coughs> Muslim they gather, assemble they come here, they leave their homes on this day, on this Mubarak day to receive their reward to get their reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from Malikul Muluk from Rabbul Kareem from generous Lord and my dear brothers you can expect the reward for those when Allah ordered them to fast they fasted when he ordered them to stand in ibadah they stood the whole night when he ordered them to control their lusts and desires they obeyed they spent the whole month in reciting and listening the holy quran they spent the whole month in making tawbah, in repentance and now they gather to get their reward and you can expect, imagine the reward for those people who are so beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Prophet says وَالَّذِي نَفْسُ مُحَمَّدٍ بِيَدِي لَا خُلُوفُ فَمِسْصَائِمْ أَتْيَبُ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ مِنْ رِيْحِ الْمِسْ these people who are so beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the fasting people that the breath coming from their mouth was sweeter to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than musk they were beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and what could be the reward? what can you expect the reward from their generous Lord the Rabbul Kareem, Malikul Muluk the King of the all world the, who is al wadud who is loving one alladhi la hududa li muwaddati whose love has no limit his love for his slaves is limitless al karim he is generous alladhi la hududa li karami whose generosity knows no bounds whose generosity, whose forgiveness knows no bounds and what could be the reward for these beloved people to their Lord? And the reward we are assured. We have full husnu zan billah. We are optimistic to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that as He has promised, He will certainly forgive all of our sins. We inshallah, we hope, we are assured. Allah said, Wallahu ya'idukum. Allah promises you a forgiveness and fadl bounty from Himself. Allah has promised. Those who believe and those who perform righteous deeds will not let their deed go in waste, will not let their amal go in waste. So Allah is Wakan Allah Shakiran Alima. We are 100%, more than 100% assured by Allah's promises that when we will return, Allah will announce, Go back, return, I have forgiven all of your sins. And I have transformed your bad deed, your sins into virtues, into virtues, into good deeds. Three are Allah's promises. This is the day of regaining reward. Allah gives, announces His reward. 
for all who spend this month in praying, in worshiping, in obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we are assured, we hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will certainly free our necks from hellfire. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will certainly call us to enter into paradise. Allah has promised. And paradise, Jannah in Arduha, Ka'awi Samai wal Ars. A paradise, a Jannah, that's which is the width, the distance between it. This world, this earth, and the heavens are so high, so mighty, and so excessive, massive Jannah, we can't imagine. There is an amazing hadith reported by Ibn Muslim, Rahimahullah. Mughira bin Sha'ba, radiyallahu anhi, reports this hadith. Rasulullah says that, Sa'ala Musa Rabba. Musa, alayhi salam, he once asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Oh my Lord, Ya Rabbi, Ma adna ahli jannati man sila. Which is the least person who will get the least share in Jannah. The last person who will get the least share in Jannah. Who is that person? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told Musa a.s. Musa. He is the person when he will come, when all people they will have entered into Jannah. He will come in the end. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered him, Udukhul Jannah, go and enter into paradise. He will go and فَيُخَنْيَلُ إِلَيْهِ أَنَّهَا مَلْقَى He will feel that Jannah will feel my people. There is no roof left for him. So he will come back. قُلْ يَا رَبِّي وَكَيْفْ وَقَدْ نَذَلَ النَّاسُ مَنَازِلَهُمْ وَأَخَذُوا أَخَذَاتِهِمْ How can I enter into paradise? There is no room left for me. All people, they have taken their apartments. They have taken their share. Nothing is left for me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell him that do you like at the hindu ayn yakuna laga mislu mulki maliki min muluki dunya? Would you be pleased if you are given a kingdom like the kingdom of the world? You will say, Ya Rabbi Razif, Allah, I am happy, I am pleased. Allah will say, Laka zalika wa misluhu wa misluhu wa misluhu wa misluhu wa misluhu You will get this share, this kingdom and the like that and the like that and the like that and the like that and when Allah says fifth time He will say, Rabbi Razif, Rabbi Razif, Allah, I am happy I am pleased Allah will say, Laka zalika you will get this and you said you will get ten times more. So multiply ten with five fifty. Like a you will get this five times and ten times more fifty five times more. You will get the reward of more than this world. And in another hadith Muslim says that that the least person who will get the least reward in Jannah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will tell him. Would you be pleased if I give you ten times more this world, ten times more this earth? So this is the massive reward. Who will get the last person, who will get the least reward in Jannah? And what about the person who will get the higher ranks? Musa Rasulam, Allah tell me about that person who will get the highest ranks. Allah will say, Musa, nobody can perceive no mind can perceive the reward I give him. مَا لَا عِينُ الرَّغَةِ وَلَا أُذُنُ السَّمِعَةِ وَلَا خَطْرَ عَلَى قَلْبِ بَشَرِ My dear, this is our Lord, Rabbu Al-Kareem, who generosity knows no bounds. And we have Husnuzan, that is part of our Iman. We must be optimistic after performing good deeds. So, we are enjoined, ordered to be thankful to our Lord. This is Yawm Shukr. We gather to offer our gratitude to be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what is Shukr? Shukr is not only by words. Shukr is to perform more ibadah afterwards. This is Shukr. We must decide from this day because Allah has forgiven our sins no, we must perform ibadah more. We must pray five times at least. It must be with jama'ah. We should make it our routine. We should make offer and observe more fasting after this. This is sunnah to show your gratitude.
teach you by your ibadah. Allah says, "Did you forget Allah? Allah mahadakum, wala Allah kum tashkurum." So that you could be thankful to your God. How Prophet ﷺ he thanked Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Once Prophet ﷺ told his Sahaba, "Unzilat alayya al-layna ma'aya, ya ahabu ilayya mimma al ars." This night, a verse in Quran is revealed upon me, which I like more than the whole world. More than the whole world, it is, which is dearer to me than the whole world. He was asked of which, of which verse. He recited, "Ya ufila la Allahu ma taqadda min zambi ka wa ma taakhir." Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has announced, "Rabbana sallam." Allah Subhanahu wa Taala may forgive all of your sins of the past and the future. It was a distinguishing characteristic. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. For, forgive all of his sins of the past and the future. He said, I am so pleased by this verse. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala announced that Allah may forgive all of your sins of the past and the future. This world I love more than the whole world. Mughira bin Shahwa radiallahu he says that after what Rasulullah he performed, started performing more ibadah, more and more. Hatta until his two feet were swollen by standing more in ibadah, by long qiyam, hatta tawarrabat qadama. Mughira bin Shu'ba radiyallahu anhi asked, in another hadith, Aisha radiyallahu anhi asked, Yes, Salam, why do you stand so long in ibadah? Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has announced that all of your sins have been forgiven? What was his reply? Afala aku muhab dan syukura. Should I not be a thankful act? Sadeh wa Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. I stand to show, to offer my thanks to my Lord. So my dear brother, today we should decide that because Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has favored us, He has granted us a blessing or forgiven us our sins. So we must perform more ibadah. This is a day to decide. Uh, the rest of the year, <coughs> how would we spend this, this, all these months? This is the day we must decide, we must set up our goals. So this Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his ibadah was not only for one month. But Allah says that wa'abud rabba hatta yakti akal yakin. Worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala till the last moments in this world, till the time of death. And the second point, which is very important here, we are living in a place where there is kufr everywhere. So Islam was spread by our characters. Look at our, our pious predecessors, how they spread this message to the world. Being a Muslim, we are ordered that balighu anni walau aya convey to me, even if you know one verse. So Islam was spread by our akhlaq, by our characters, not by force. Muslim traders, they, they went to travel all over the world. Wherever they went, people, they were attracted and they converted to Islam. Here we have our neighbors, we have our friends who, who are looking towards us. They are waiting for us, but we have no courage to convince them. We have no, we have no interest to spread this message to them. Wallah, my dear brother, it is only a matter of our seeing something. They are looking towards us. If we and the people of Musa al-Islam, they said, "Faina dakhal tumuhu, faina kum walibun." When you will enter, you will be victorious. When you will start, wherever you find someone, if he is your friend. Tell him this is Allah's message. So show your humble character, nice character. Islam was spread by the character of Muslims. Here, unluckily, our character is not good here. Which message we are giving to the world by our actions? If a Muslim is involved in drug dealing, if he is involved in other illegal activities here, tell me which message we are giving to the world. So if a person is attracted toward our deen by our character, it will be sattva jariya for us. 
And if a person is confused, if he hated our being because of our character, our behavior, it means you yourself are telling people, don't embrace Islam. My dear brother, show your thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by your humble ibadah and by practicing and by conveying this message to other, to other people. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our ibadah. Salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ba'd. آج کے اس مخصر سے خطبہ کا خلاصہ یہ ہے کہ آج کا دن ہمارے لئے اللہ کا بہت بڑا انعام ہے یہ بہت بڑی نعمت ہے کہ ایک مہینہ کی عبادت کے بعد وہ اللہ جو بہت رحیم و کریم ہے جس کی فیاضیوں کی کوئی انتہا نہیں ہے جو خود کہتا ہے کہ تمہارا رب بہت بکان اللہ شاکرن علیمہ وہ تو ایک معمولی سا صدقہ بھی ہو معمولی سا حدیث میں آتا ہے کہ قیامت کے روز ایک آدمی اللہ کے دربار میں آئے گا اور جب اس کو اس کے عامال صالحہ نیکیاں دکھائی جائیں گی انسان خود حیران ہو جائے گا کہ اللہ اتنی نیکیاں میں نے کی نہیں اللہ فرمائے گا تجھے یاد ہے کہ تُو نے ایک کٹھلی کے برابر صدقہ کیا تھا ایک خلوب کی کٹھلی کے برابر میں نے اس کو پڑھانا شروع کیا حتیٰ کہ وہ پہاڑ کو بھی زیادہ کر یہ اللہ کی رحمتیں ہیں اللہ کا فضل ہے کہ انسان کی معمولی سی عبادت کو اگر وہ قبول کر لے تو وہ معمولی سی عبادت بھی اس کی مفرد اور بخشت کا ذریعہ کر سکتے ہیں ہم نے ایک پورا مہینہ اللہ کی عبادت کی دن کے روزے رکھے اپنے آباد کی حفاظت کی اپنی آنکھوں کی حفاظت کی اپنے کانوں کی حفاظت کی وہ اللہ بہت بڑا قدردان ہے ہم نے راتوں کا قیام کیا یدع شہوتہو و تعامہو من اگلی ایک اللہ کو خوش کرنے کے لئے ہم نے ہر طرح سے اپنا خیال رکھا تو آج یوم جائزہ ہے اور جائزہ انعام اللہ کا کیا ہے کہ ان لیو کا تزفرت لکم و بدل تو سیئیاتکم حسنات کہ خوش ہو جاؤ کہ میں نے تمہارے سارے گناہ معاف کر دیئے ہیں اور تمہاری گناہ خطاؤں کو میرے نیکی میں تبدیل کر دیا ہے تو آج شکر گزاری کا دن ہے اور شکر گزاری یہ ہے کہ اللہ کی زیادہ عبادت کی جائے یہ معنی نہیں کہ آپ بخش ہے کہ آپ جو چاہو کرو نہیں بلکہ آپ پہلے سے بڑھ کر عبادت کرنی ہے تاکہ یہ نیکی محفوظ ہو جائے اِنَّ الْإِتِّقَاءَ عَلَى الْعَمَلْ اَشَدْتُ مِنَ الْعَمَلْ نیکی کرنا اتنا مشکل نہیں جتنا نیکی کی حفاظت مشکل ہے نیکی کو بچانا بہت مشکل ہے کتنے بد نصیب ہیں عاملت الناصبا خسلا نار حامیا جو عبادتیں کر کر کے تھک جائیں گے پھر بھی جہنم میں داخل ہو جائیں کیا بد نصیبیاں ہیں ان لوگوں کی زندگی بھائی باتیں کرتے ہیں اور پھر آخر میں گناہ میں مقتلع ہو گئے خوش نصیب ہے وہ فرمایا حدیث شریف میں آتا ہے ان اللہ اذا احب عبدا استعمالا اللہ جب کسی سے محبت کرتا ہے اسے نیکی والے عمل میں لگا رہتا ہے یوفقہ لعمل صالح قبل الموت اللہ اسے موت سے پہلے نیکی والے عمال میں مبتلا کرتا ہے نیکی کرنا شکر کر دیتا ہے نیکی کرنا کتنے ہیں نماز پڑھتے ہوئے فوت ہو گئے کتنے ہیں جو روزہ رکھا اور روزہ کی حالت میں فوت ہو گئے کتنے ہیں جو حق کے سفر پہ گئے راستے میں فوت ہو گئے یہ خوش نصیب ہوتے ہیں تو ہمیشہ حرص کرنی چاہیے کہ میرا خاتمہ ایمان پر ہو انما الاعمال بالخواتین اللہم توفنا مسلمین والحقنا بسوالین یہ سب سے بڑی خوش نصیبی ہے تو آج ہمیں عظم کرنا ہے کہ ہم نے اپنی تقیہ زندگی اسی طرح عبادت پسند کرنی ہے اللہ تعالی ہمارے حال پر رحم ہمارے اللہم وفقنا لما تحب و درد اللہم دلیلہ شرک العالمین والصلاة والسلام وعنا شرف الانبیاء والمرسلین محمد وعلى آلہ واصحابہ اجمعین اللہم انہا نسألک بی انہا نشہد انکا انت اللہ لا الہ الا انت لحد الصمد الذی لم یلد و لم یولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد اللهم إنا نسألك بأن لك الحمد لا إله إلا أنت الحنان المنان بديع السماوات والأرض يا ذا الجلال والإكرام اللهم مغفرتك أوسع من ذنوبنا ورحمتك أوجع عندنا من أعمالنا اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا 
اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعفو عنا اللهم تقبل منا صيامنا وقيامنا اللهم تقبل منا صيامنا وقيامنا اللهم تقبل منا صيامنا وقيامنا اللهم اجعل اللهم اجعلنا من عتقاء من النار اللهم اجعلنا من عتقاء من النار اللهم اجعلنا من عتقاء من النار اللهم انا نسالك الجنه الفردوس ونعوذ بك من النار اللهم انا نسالك الجنه الفردوس ونعوذ بك من النار اللهم انا نسالك الجنه الفردوس ونعوذ بك من النار اللهم انا نعوذ بك من عذاب القبر ونعوذ بك من عذاب جهنم ونعوذ بك من فتنة المسيح الدجال ونعوذ بك من فتنة المحيا والممات اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من المعصم والمغرب اللهم أجلنا من النار اللهم أجلنا من النار اللهم أجلنا من النار ربنا اصرف عنا عذاب جهنم إن عذابها كان غراما اللهم أعتق رقابنا من النار ربنا اغفر لنا ولوالدينا وللمؤمنين يوم يقوم الحساب ربنا اغفر لنا ولوالدينا يوم يقوم الحساب اللهم اغفر لهم وارحمهم إنك أنت الغفور الرحيم اللهم انصر الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم انصر الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم انصر إخوان المسلمين في سوريا وفي بارما وفي كل مكان اللهم احفظ دماء المسلمين اللهم احفظ دماء المسلمين اللهم احفظ دماء المسلمين اللهم اشفنا واشف مرضانا مرضى المسلمين اللهم اخذ حاجاتنا وحاجات المسلمين اللهم اكفنا بحلالك عن حرامك واغننا بفضلك عمن سواك ربنا هب لنا من ازواجنا وذرياتنا قرة اعين واجعلنا للمتقين اماما اللهم توفنا مسلمين والحقنا بالصالحين وصلى الله تعالى على خير خلق محمد اجمعين